Hi Sagittarius, so welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your love read for the first half of September 2022. This is going to be for you and who, okay? This could be for singles, couples, those, those who have yet to meet someone. Uh, you might find something that resonates on one side versus the other. So feel free to reverse sides, guys, as you see fit. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to start with these first. I'm going to pull overarching energy. So let's uh, see what the big picture in love what wants to come out for Sagittarius? If you are looking for career, money, finance, or perhaps a general monthly read, you're going to see that right at the end of this video. Okay, guys? All right. Let's take a look at what is going on for Sagittarius. Let's put this aside. Uh, I want to put this over here. Okay. All right. So what do we get here? Okay. Ooh, you guys. Wow. Okay. <gasps> this is about accept what is dying. This could be like, you know, an old mindset an old way of thinking, uh, you know, uh, uh, how you've been thinking about love in a certain way or one aspect of that. Uh, it could be a relationship, you know, as well. But I think that this is, you know, especially showing up in your read, maybe you've lost interest in a person, place, or thing, okay? Uh, this could be that maybe that you can no longer, uh, you know, muster up the enthusiasm to move something forward because it's just, you've lost interest in it, okay? Uh, so it's time to surrender and just let things end with complete grace is what this is talking about. So, wow. You know, it's, it's just keep in mind, guys, just like the seasons, it is a part of a natural cycle and nothing never ends. It can, you just actually transforms its energy, right? Spring comes to summer, summer comes to fall, that type of thing, right? It just, it, it, it transforms, right? So this is um, about maybe something that, that, that needs to end. Maybe there's something that, that is coming to an end that is necessary right now. And this is saying that maybe it's, uh, you've assessed the situation. It doesn't want you to waste time tending to something that's just not going to grow. It wants you to face the unknown and move forward. Okay. So what this divine energy is calling you to do is a rebirth on a totally different level. Now, this could be a relationship that's on a different level. Uh, this could be looking at yourself at a different level, right? Like that old part of you is dying and this new part of you is coming out. And uh, this is like you're crossing this rebirth, this threshold of something brand new. So keep that in mind, guys. All right. So this is, it could be connections. It could be uh, your new, your spirit is coming out, right? Don't from your run from your emotions um, or, or fear. It's really to trust the rhythms of uh, you know, death and rebirth, death and rebirth and all of that, right? Which is really just all about a transformation of process, right? So accept this, this transformation and, uh, you know, embrace the new that is coming your way. And this might be showing up a new love. So uh, this could be a good thing. So this is very, very key, guys. So, so some of you are being called to, to uh, make a plan, choose partners wisely, that type of thing. So let's see what wants to play out in your read. Let's take a look where Sagittarius is right now. Where are you at right now, Sag? Okay, so we get the Six of Pentacles, and then we get the uh, King of Rods, and this is about persevering using that fire energy, right? So this is about balancing things out, equal give and take in a relationship. And for some of you, you may have not been getting that and hence, you know, you know, accept that sign, right? You know, or, you know, even if you maybe brought it up and, and tried several times. So this is saying it's time to uh, focus on equal give and take, generosity, you know, between in my, my relationships and in my connections, right? And then I get the King of Rons, which is bossing up. This is being that visionary. This is what I want in love. This is the vision that I'm looking for, right? And creating that vision and leaving the outcome to the universe, right? Uh, get into the vibration of the energy, not stuck on a person, right? Because that is what is going to allow the universe to have an open opportunity to put forth what really belongs in your life, right? And then you, you know, really focusing in on the, that positive energy. That's your job is to focus on that energy and posture up to that of which you want to attract, right? So it's always important to keep in mind because the energy trumps everything, guys. Uh, very key. And what you give off is what you're going to attract. So it, I get you persevering. So I feel that you're really bossing up and being that visionary entrepreneur and you're persevering as it pertains to love. So whatever has left you, it's, it hasn't 
uh, it hasn't um, uh, it hasn't uh, stunted your spirit to say, hey, no, I want I still want love in my life here, you know, and, and, and that's what love is all about. It's kind of like you, you, you test the waters, you find what's good for you, what you like, what you don't like, you know, kind of that type of thing. And if it doesn't work with a particular partner or in a situation, then it's time to, you know, uh, move forward and uh, on to the next, right? You just get closer and closer and closer to that of which is meant for you. And boy, you would love it. Uh, so this is what I, I feel it's coming through. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, divine love cards. What do we get? What wants to come out? Summer. Yeah, you've got these positive warmth and vibes coming through here. All right, so that's what I get. And what else is coming through? Yeah, this is about, you know, taking some time for yourself to uh, really be patient with yourself and go within. And it's asking you to spend some time with yourself uh, before, uh, you know, as you bloom. Okay, so it could be that you're going within a little bit and, you know, you're, you're percolating these summer positive vibes is what I get. And let's pull a card from this deck and see what wants to come through. Yeah, you're developing the courage uh, to make a bold move, like right? like before you really like open up, right? So I feel that you're going within and you're percolating these summer vibes. And this is about all percolating the courage to take action and move forward and make that bold move. This is what I'm getting from you here. That's pretty powerful, guys. Let's take a look at what it is that you need to focus in on. What do we got? Uh, I get the five of swords. Uh, it wants you to focus on your stability after some sort of deception. I get earth energy and air energy. So it wants you to focus in on that of which that caused conflict in your life. So the five of swords is about that. There's some sort of conflict. There may have been some sort of defeat within a love situation, but this is what I get, right? And focus on your stability and security. And that's what you're doing. Like you're developing that foundation to be stronger than ever so you can't be rocked is what I got. So this is what it wants you to focus in on. Anything else uh, that the Oracle wants you to deliver wise advice in your what you need to focus on position? Affection, an open display of love and affection towards someone. So Sag, just is saying is that in a relationship, it's important to not only you know, to express, but to show someone that you care for them by actions, right? Little things, uh, you know, that you do uh, open displays of love, you know, a special attention to someone's needs. That is what is really going to grow the emotional connection between you and another. And for some reason it's coming up. So it's about showing affection that is going to be key. What is it that is in your strength position for Sagittarius regarding love? What do we get? Okay. And then I want to, oh, I like this. I like this. And I'm going to pull um, some um, and the Oracle cards for this as well. Okay. And we get the Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you guys, your strength position here is starting fresh. Like, let's turn the page. Like, you have this opportunity to create, like a sheet of music, to create what it is of the, the melody and the harmony you want to see within a relationship or situation. Like that energy exchange, right? That synergy. Uh, and it's a new opportunity. What's going to help you is you could be delivering a message towards someone or someone's delivering a message towards you. It's this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So you might have it in your chart. If not, you, you could be delivering a message to someone uh, about a new, a, new, a new cycle. Wheel of Fortune is like a destiny is at hand. Your strength is destiny is before you. And it's about a new opportunity and starting fresh. And it could be that you're offering love to someone or someone's bringing in a message towards you with this page. Uh, there is synchronicities and you're, you're heeding those synchronicities uh, that are taking place and you're following those intuitive nudges. But I do get the Wheel of Fortune, which is, uh, you know, whatever wasn't working previously, it has now set to work, right? It's like kicking out partners that uh, maybe weren't working for you, and then there's two at the top, right? So this is saying, I want my Wheel of Fortune. I want to move forward with this. Uh, tens have to do with something, has to do with a, a achievement in this world, recognition. Yeah, so this is about uh, recognizing your value, uh, a shift in a cycle, starting fresh, new chapter, clean slate. Yeah. And it could be that uh, maybe that they're, uh, the person that you're going towards maybe who have been guarded in the past or maybe that was you. Uh, but now there is a different outlook to a situation now. They're in the situation between you and a person, whoever you have your mind on right now, 
a different outlooks necessary in terms of, of the of the connection okay or this is a different perspective of not being guarded anymore being so much more solid now than you ever were before and knowing that you want love in your life and that equal exchange is important and uh, that's what you need that's what you need period and you know point blank there you go right so let's take a look at what's coming through in the near future near future for Sag. what do we got yeah being an authority over one's emotion you guys, this is so powerful. You, you know, this guy's been showing up in your read, okay, a lot. And so this could be perhaps you've got, uh, you know, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces around you, or this is you taking on this energy and being an authority over your emotions, right? It's no longer that the emotions have a hold on you. It's kind of like now you're, 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 you have better management of your emotions here. So, and that is a feat in itself. So congrats on that, guys, okay? Uh, yeah, and then it has you moving forward. This is the Knight of Rods. So now it's as you moving forward. This is in lust, adventure, uh, excitement, passion, right? So this is your fire energy that you can now use. Why? Because you bossed up here. Yeah, and now, now you feel that you can kind of move forward that way. You might be motioning towards someone. And what do I get? Yeah, you've got a lot of options around you, no doubt. But this is about getting rid of the, the veil of the illusion, all the imagination, all the superficial stuff, and really getting down to the practicality of things, like getting to know someone and making that right choice. Because there's lots of different things in this cup. There's masks, there's snakes, right? Uh, and then there is a wreath of success. And, and there is also a building of a tower and a castle and that's about building someone you see long term with. So this is about you, you know, getting clear, uh, motioning forward towards that of which makes better sense to you in terms of partners. Seventh house energy is partnerships, and this is a seven card. All right, so let's take a look in your future. Anything else? Secret. Okay, it could be that there's a, you know, something that's affecting the situation. And that's something my my finger. Could be something that's affecting uh, the uh, a, a situation that is unseen by another person. Someone's holding secrets. Uh, in judgment, a final decision will be made to bring something to finality. Okay. So it could be you or the other person. If you sense it, I think you'll know. And it's about, you know, making strong judgments here uh, about in terms of moving forward. And what do we get? I don't know. I get some loving, passion, and, and intimacy coming through here, guys. There's going to be a judgment that's going to be made, right? So something's got to come out. Okay. And uh, this is maybe either a secret that has to do with some sort of healing of the past whether you are this other person and, and that's being expressed and that caused, you know, a disruption in this particular situation. So there's a sense of healing that is taking place uh, here. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side for you, Sesh. What do we get? Uh, Capricorn energy, toxic, and this is about getting rid of that. It's teamwork and collaboration and making progress. So this person, you could be dealing with someone who's got uh, fire as well as earth in their chart. But I do get there was some sort of toxicity that was affecting teamwork and from something progressing, okay? And that's what I get from this uh, particular person on this side. Now, I'm not sure what that is. Give me a card of this uh, uh, devil energy, Capricorn energy. Yeah, they were reminiscing. They were focused on the past. Someone was focused on the past and reminiscing about perhaps a past relationship, a past connection. But that's what was toxic when you had met this person or had been acquainted with this person, uh, whether you're with them or not, but that's what was coming through, okay? So what is in, what they need to focus in on? Uh, they need to, and this is about, uh, not, this is about, um, oh my God, another card on this. This is about getting support from others, okay? This is about not moving too hastily. This is about an opportunity to let something fall and then uh, be supported by others that are around them, friendship and community. So they're being asked to let something fall, not move forward too hastily in relationships and get help and support from others is what I'm getting, okay? So the, like the tower is coming through, it's like, it's inevitable. It's like not move too hastily, uh, let something fall that needs to fall, you know, again, kind of what, what you're, except what is, is dying, uh, a part of you or a way, a part of uh, a perspective or a mindset, or a person, place, or thing, okay? What do I get from this? Loyalty. Someone wants to be supportive and has your best interest at heart, okay? So it could be that you're very loyal to this person, and this person is realizing that, that loyalty is very, very big. And what they need to focus on is someone who's loyal around them, and what else? Yeah, bliss of happiness seems like a dream. Wow. 
someone is what they need to focus is on what brings them happiness what feels what what do they want what do they want to manifest what's their dream in terms of their love life what is it that they you know what are aspects of that dream in terms of that love you know the person that they want to be with what's their strength ah eight it change is coming through which is really good wow change is coming through for an opportunity for intimacy and an opportunity to have an you know a new love right so now there's a change in the wind things are now going in the same direction which they weren't before and that's now happening which brings forth a strength which is their their opportunity for intimacy and compassion so now things have changed and now they can move forward it looks like within love all right and that's in their strength position is to bring forth the change eights yeah it's like there's been a death and rebirth and which brought forth an ace here okay and the universe is handing this over whoa yeah and this is about getting rid of any sort of drama or negativity um, spicing themselves up and then sparking new chemistry it wants them to follow new chemistry the new spark well it could be coming from you because there's a lot of fireworks over here okay um, but they're focused on follow that spark they're being asked um, maybe they've been going through a makeover and they're trying to get rid of the negativity and gossip, uh, you know, but that's what I'm getting. And what's coming through in their near future then? So let's take a look. I think they're transforming. They're going through some sort of transformation and makeover. So in the near future, uh, they are being asked to uh, connect with those that seem, they're, they're being asked to let go of the emotions of the past and move forward, which those of you that, those that see their world the same way. You see, one person has their hand on one um, wand, the other person is on theirs, and they have the, the globe there. So it's kind of like, uh, you see, we're on the, we kind of see the world the same way. We're both strong. Let's see what we can do together, right? So the two of wands is making progress and discovering something. You know, there's a flower, life is blooming, love. So this could be is that they're, in their near future, it's about making progress in love and going the same direction, both being strong alone and then seeing something for the greater good and moving forward. There has been a completion and then letting go of emotions of the past. Remember how this person was reminiscing? Well, I think that in the near future, they're able to let that go. And they're now able to make progress and move forward with someone. So let's take a look because we got fireworks on your side. So we're going to do an extended to this. And we're going to find out what this person's next steps are, the timing involved in that, what they haven't told you, what they want most long term, what you want most long term, what you haven't told them, and what you hope the next steps would be. Uh, messages from both sides, potential outcome with Oracle advice. So if you want to join me guys, click the link in the description box below and uh, like and subscribe if this resonates guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.